Here in this channel, I'll be diving into discuss and debunk any beauty trends and or services. One of the most controversial treatments out there right now is Botox. But like, what is it? Like, what is it exactly? What does it do? How toxic is it? There's a lot of questions that are around Botox. And today we're going to be getting to the bottom of these questions. So today let's talk Botox. But before we dive in, please subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated when we post new videos. Botox is the trade name for botulinum toxin type A, which is produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. Botox first got FDA approval in 2002, which is really not that long ago when you think about it, especially in the magnitude of those who've been talking about this procedure. There are actually seven known types of botulinum toxin, and they are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Toxins A and B were first identified in 1919 and then purified in 1946 and 1947, respectively. Toxins C, D, E, and F soon followed. The last toxin, G, was identified in 1969 in Argentina. Botulinum toxin A is used for cosmetic use, while botulinum toxin B is used for several muscle diseases. Although this is the same toxin that causes botulism, its effects vary according to the amount and type of exposure. For example, Botox is only injected in small, targeted doses. When injected, Botox blocks signals from your nerves to your muscles. This prevents the targeted muscles from contracting, which can ease certain muscular conditions and improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Botox works by blocking the release of acetylcholine, resulting in paralysis of local muscles, which usually occurs 24 hours to two weeks following Botox injection. This effect is said to last three to six months. Botox is relatively safe in small doses and does not result in any major side effects. However, in certain circumstances, the effect of Botox will gradually fade, resulting in reduced muscle paralysis over time. Botox injections can be used to treat glabellar frown lines, wrinkles around the lips, and marionette lines. Also areas around the neck and eye conditions can be treated. Botox can treat lazy eye, eye twitching, chronic migraines, neck spasms, overactive bladder, excessive sweating, and certain neurological conditions. Botox has been used ever since the 1970s, and in the last 20 years, its use has been expanded to other health scopes such as dermatology. But Botox cannot be used to prevent other signs of aging such as dry skin, pigmentation disorders, and vascular abnormalities. If Botox isn't your thing, there are definitely some alternatives to Botox instead. Some of these things include other injectables such as Dysport and Myoblock. And while they're both also toxins, they're a little bit different than Botox, but you'll probably be paying the same amount as far as dosage goes. There's also face exercise, acupuncture, face patches, vitamins, facial creams, and chemical peels. So there are plenty of things out there for you to do, even if Botox isn't something that you are looking forward to doing. So how was it? Did you find this as a helpful review of toxins? Are there any other questions you have about toxins? Please feel free to comment or DM us or message us on Facebook. Or if you have other questions that are going a bit further into the medical field, we do have a medical advisor that you can message. So if you go onto our website and you go to contact, you will have a whole form and you'll be able to click medical advisor. Once you click medical advisor, you type in your message, it'll go to her and she will absolutely get back to you with your question. With that being said, please follow us on Instagram and go to our Facebook page as well, where we post content weekly. See you next time.